Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to add icons to the short codes in your My Theme Shop theme. So in this demonstration, I'm using the cleanup theme, but this applies for any My Theme Shop theme with short codes built in. Um, I'm going to show you how to get going, and first I'm just going to go to a sample page. Um, you can, of course, do this in any post or on any page. And here I'm going to add in a custom short code by pressing the custom short code button. You do need to make sure you have the WP shortcode plugin installed, which is free from my theme shop and available from the WordPress plugin repository. And then I'm going to add in, say, a red button um, with the text, just button text. You can, of course, set a URL, etc. And that just adds in the shortcode as you would expect. To add an icon to your button, you now need to add in a bit of code and you need to choose a button to add in. Now for cleanup, I can see which icons are available by going to demo.myfeamshop.com slash cleanup slash icons, and I'm just going to visit that now. And you can see you have all of the icons that are available to you. Hundreds and hundreds of them are listed there. And these are using the font awesome icon set. So for my button, I'm just going to add in a question in a circle. So I need to make a note of the code fa-question-circle. And I need to go back to the page or post I want to add the shortcode icon to and switch from the visual editor to the text editor. I then want to find the shortcode and then add a bit of code here. So after the closing bracket to create the shortcode and before your text, you want to add in angle bracket i and then class equals and then two quotation marks and then fa and then the space and then the line of code you've just noted down so for me it is fa dash question dash circle so fa and then a space and fa dash question dash circle and then i want to move to the other side of that quotation mark and then one angle bracket to close it and then the opposite angle bracket, forward slash, and then I, and then close the angle bracket. I'm going to add in a space there as well. So if you're familiar with HTML, you'll see we're adding in the code for um, italics, but we have the class to put in the icon. So it's I class equals, and then these two quotation marks wrapping this, and then FA space, FA dash question dash circle, and then close that off. So if you click update on that or publish and then visit your site, you're going to see that the shortcode that you wanted has now been added with the icon that you wanted. And um, I'll just go back here. And if you wanted to change these, it's really easy to do. Um, just go back to the icons page. Um, perhaps I wanted uh, an RSS icon, so fa-rss-square. And I can just uh, change that here, fa rfs square making sure I've got fa and space in there. Click update. And then when I visit my site now, I'll see I have this RSS icon. And that's really all there is to it. There are over 360 icons for you to choose from. So you can really get the look you're looking for and get your site with the icons feeling how it should be. So just to quickly recap, you want to insert the shortcode using the visual editor, but then switch to the text editor in order to add in this line of code here to add in the icons you want. Make sure you copy the code as it is here, and just make sure you have this space here, FA is space, and then the code for the icon. That's all there is to it. Any queries or any problems, head over to the My Theme Shop community, and thank you very much for watching.